welcome back to the channel natalie here thank you so very much for watching this video so as i said in the previous two videos this is the december 2020 ipsy trial video so i've done all three of the <coughs> glam bag and baggings so it's time to try on some products um So, let's get into it. Okay, first up is this. This is an ultimate. This is the... I'm going to try to get through this. Studio Makeup Silk Hydration Face Primer. So, I've actually never heard of this brand. I probably should have done my skincare first, but oh well. Well, it don't have a smell to it. I can tell you that. Um, it does kind of feel hydrating. It's just not too much. So, there's that. And, for the sake of time and this very long, hopefully this video ain't going to be too long, I'm going to go do my face, face station, <laughs> foundation and concealer, and I'll come back and do this powder with you guys that I got um and then we'll go from there I just don't want another 40 minute video to have to try to upload so yeah so I'll be right back after I do that <clears throat> okay the foundation and concealer is done what I do with my that's I had a Kleenex over here where did it go okay so foundation and concealer are now done I just used my Makeup Revolution. I think this is Conceal Foundation. I think I use F4. I'm trying to finish this, but there's the shade I use. Um, this is nice. This is only $15 foundation. And that sounds like a lot, but knowing that some brands are thirty dollars yeah that ain't bad and the concealer that I use is this Yensa concealer the Ipsy sent me a few months ago that I'm trying to get through I already had finished my makeup revolution concealer but I think this is in the shade C2 I was gonna get F4 but they were out of it so don't ask me why I'm keeping this. It's empty, but yeah. I just can't seem to get through this foundation, though, no matter what I do. Okay, so that's done. Wait to use the primer. Next up is this Complex Culture. If I can find it. Um, set, go, and trans... Jeez. Set, go, and translucent finishing powder in clarity, I think is the shade. Yeah, there you go. So, this is a setting powder, I'm guessing. I'm not sure what else she would use it for. And don't worry, in case you guys are interested i'm going to do a makeup bag collection not today but at a later date i also going to do like an everyday makeup book because i know i only show you guys 
like the Ipsy try-ons, but I will do an everyday makeup look. Dude, I got all over the place. Um, the only thing I don't like about loose powders is, God knows they're messy. But I think I've actually kind of gotten a liking for them, minus the fact that they're loose, because I have a tart setting powder that is loose like this. And I've noticed the companies do a pretty good job of keeping the, or making the packaging to where the powder will not get all over the place. It will be contained within the packaging, you know. If that makes any sense. So for instance, this is where the powder is. And this has this, I should call that a hump in there. That way if it was just flat, the powder would get everywhere. But the powder will stay contained with that, which is pretty nice. So, um, I'm actually going to keep this in my makeup bag as well. Because what? You can never have too many loose powders, right? <laughs> but no, seriously. I still prefer pressed powders myself because they're less messy and I can be, I'm a very clumsy person sometimes. Not all the time, thank the Lord, but I can be a very clumsy person. So, what do y'all think of that powder? And I keep putting my glasses on and off because I'm not used to filming and doing this. So, we do what we gotta do though. Okay, we need... And these brushes that I'm using are just the e.l.f. brand brushes. They haven't failed me thus far, so I'm just going to keep on using them. You know, we might actually use a liquid highlighter. I don't know if I got that far ahead, though. Okay. There's our blush. That's a highlighter. Okay, we finished you. <clears throat> Next up is the Complex Culture Overtime Blush Contour Doer in Pink Sip and Power Player. Um, let's see if I can get this packaging out. Those are really pretty. That bronzer actually looks kind of dark so i'll be sure not to use a lot of it i need to put some tape on these brushes that way i don't have to keep reading them get different colored tape okay we're going in with the bronzer Um, the formula seems pretty nice. It's like, it doesn't seem to fall out a whole lot. Um, like I said, I can't really tell myself, you know, product is product. <laughs> yeah, it picks up pretty good, so. Yeah, not a whole lot of fallout. And I do like these duos, especially that has like, <clears throat> excuse me, a brush, <clears throat> a, <clears throat> a blush and a bronzer. Or like a blush and a highlighter instead of just multiple blushes. That way you don't have to take separate palettes, you know, you have a blush and a bronzer in one. So I'm going to set you right there. Okay, that should be in there pretty well. Okay, now for the blush. 
That blush is actually brighter than what I usually wear. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of fallout if you guys can see that. And sorry for the background noise. I have one family member doing dishes and another one who's still in bed. Yeah, that blush is a bit brighter. I usually try to go for either shimmery blushes or blushes that are a little bit darker than this, you know, or both. I think that looks pretty good. Let me try to look for myself. And I apologize for this mirror. This thing is disgusting, but. Hmm. Looks pretty good from what I can tell. What you guys think so far? Y'all like this palette and this powder? Um, they're, they're growing on me. The loose powder stuff is growing on me, y'all. So, highlighter. Um... Nope, I want this palette lighter. It's usually I wear liquid highlight. So this time I'm going for this one actually came in either the glam bag. I think this came in the glam bag last month. This one. Sorry, I ain't gonna be able to read the name for you, but yeah, go check November's Glam Bag, and I'm pretty sure this was in it. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous gold. Like I said, usually I go for liquid highlights just so I don't have to use this brush. The brush doesn't want to pick that up. Not sure if that did any good. But yeah. So what you guys think of that? Um, let me see if we got some. Yeah, I think it picked some up. I can't tell. That is like so bright it's kind of hard to tell if the brush actually picks it up though okay so we've got our blush and bronzer highlight done next up is uh, I think I'm gonna go off camera again y'all and do the eyebrows I'll come back on and do the eyeshadow with you guys because we got these two palettes to try out oh and if you're wondering how I did my foundation and concealer I just used this dirty <laughs> uh, beauty sponge it's not a beauty blender but it is just a beauty sponge that I got in a lip monthly of all things Um, yeah, so I'm trying to think. I'll go off camera, do my brows. I'll come back on and do my eyeshadow with you guys. And then we'll do the lip products. So I'll be right back. Okay, now that the brows are done, we kind of had a little mishap over here, but it's fine. Now we got those done. Um, time for the eyeshadow. And, um, well, let me show you what I use. I use the Billion Dollar Brows. I think it's 60 Seconds to Perfect Brow Kit. I love these products, but let me tell you guys. Yeah, that broke. The product is amazing. The packaging, not so much. See, the little cover that's on the brush, mine... It broke. 
and it doesn't want to stay on the brush now. And the brow gel does the same thing. You can still un undo that and use it, but this top broke as well. So this is a kit that cost $30. I'm like, if you're going to make somebody pay $30, at least put put the stuff in packaging. It's not going to break too easily. I'll be right back. I apologize for that. So, yeah, there's the billion dollar brows, perfect brows in 60 seconds or something like that. It's a, it's a $30 brow kit, so you have to I go Google that. And as I stated previously, we have the IBY. IBY Beauty Fireside Eyeshadow Palette we're going to be trying out. And the Complex Culture Full Time Eyeshadow Palette in the Party Edit we will be trying. Uh, and the mascara I'm going to use is just this Thrive Cosmetics. I don't know if this is a volumizing mascara. It's a sample I have that I'm trying to finish up. Yeah, so I'm not going to open any of the uh, mascaras that they sent me this month. Just because I want to get through those first. Uh, that one and another one I'm currently using. So, <clears throat> let's... Oh, I didn't put that back in there. Okay. Um, just try to figure out a beautiful colors to use. Um, now I'm not gonna lie, these palettes seem more of fall to me with these colors, but you know, that works too. Try and pick out colors that will look good together. Hmm. I think for my crease, I want this pretty, like, brick red color. I'm not sure what shade that is. Hopefully you guys can read that right there. I'm going to put that in my crease. And what would look good with that? Red and brown goes together, don't it? And I think we'll go in with this pretty brown color right there and I just now noticed this but I think this says I'm not sure if this was made exclusively for Ipsy but I think that means the packaging is that little label right there so I just noticed that sorry I keep hitting this tripod I need to like I need it close enough to where I can make sure I'm in the camera area but I keep hitting the tripod so sorry yeah, so with no a further ado, let's just get on into it. Oh, oh, and I almost forgot, y'all. I can't believe y'all would let me forget this. Eyeshadow primer. I do, if I can find it. I need my eyelash curler, too, so... Oh, uh, yeah. I need to go buy an Ulta or order online, but I'm almost out of my eyeshadow primer. Now, uh, I have a question. Do you guys use eyeshadow primer? Um, I wish I could find one that works, like, really well. What did I do with it? And by really well, I mean... 
it seems like it helps a little bit to keep eyeshadow on, but it's not like mind blowing how well it works, you know. There's an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer that I was thinking about trying. There it is. Uh, I was wanting to try the original one, but there's so many different ones. Do you, like, if you've tried an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, please comment down below what it was and what you think of it because I used a Milani Milani eyeshadow primer and this is the only one I've ever used um you know I think it works a little bit but I would really like one that does a great job of because I, when I put stuff on my lids I want to be able to see the color you know especially if I use darker colors I want it to pop you know so, if anybody has any eyeshadow primer suggestions, please comment those down below. And this little thing does last quite a while, because was this last year that I got this? I don't know. I probably need to just throw it away, but, you know. I know what they say about eye products, but, you know, if you spend a lot of money on it, you want to get as much use out of it as possible. And that's not for me. Woo, my hands are cold as ice, y'all. If I would have remembered the primer, I would have put that on off camera. But that needs to sit for like 30 seconds. So yeah, if y'all have any eyeshadow primer suggestions, suggestions, please comment them down below because like that Urban Decay, that one is $13 and this is nine. So, you know, I don't want to spend an arm and leg on stuff. I'm not quite sure it's even going to work, you know. <sighs> that thing clip. Okay. But I will say, Milani is a good drugstore brand. If you want a good, affordable makeup brand that's not too cheap, I would say Milani would be your best bet. Okay. Now that we have that done. um, Seems to be the pickup is pretty good. Hopefully y'all can see that. I can't really tell, but it looks like it's pretty good. I just like to, you know, be extra sure I got all the product on it. Okay. Now we're going in with our regular eyeshadow brush. This is the... I think they call it the eyeshadow C brush. And once again, these are e.l.f. brushes. This is just a regular eyeshadow brush. Do you guys keep the paper that comes in these palettes? Because I'm just like, it gets annoying putting it back in there and everything. So, okay. Oh yeah, that's got some good pickup too. The formulas on them seem to be pretty nice. Like I said, they pick up well. Uh, doesn't seem to be a whole lot of fallout. So, uh, they are really nice. And I have... I think I have, like, one other IBY palette. That is really nice. And I'm really loving all these complex culture things. Like, I have some brushes from them that I need to try. Okay, so, what you guys think of that? Um... Wow, it seems to be some really good color payoff. And I got it all over the place. How do I do that? 
know, I'm just wondering how I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see two some really good color payoff. Especially that dark red color. Okay. Um. Hopefully this video won't be too long. But next up is. My mascara. Like I said I'm just using this. Vive Cosmetics mascara. And I'm just using. Oh dear. Yeah, uh, my battery is getting low. I need to hurry up. A Dollar Tree um, eyelash curler. So. Don't you love it when your lashes do their own thing? Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> I apologize for the background noise again. So here's what the wand on this little one looks like. So, I try not to rush because I don't know about y'all, but if I rush, especially with mascara, it's going to get all over the place. And this seems to be a pretty nice mascara as well. But especially when it comes to eye stuff and everything, oh dear, like mascara, I try to get rid of it when they suggest to because, yeah, I don't need no eye problems. I think they say mascara a year. Is that what they recommend? Okay, I'm gonna say that's good enough. Y'all like the mascara? Hopefully, I didn't get it all over the freaking place. Jeez, uh, I'll be back. Okay, sorry for the interruption, y'all. Uh, we got mascara done. Let me. We have the dose of colors lip gloss in Happy Hour. I'm ready to try that out. That actually, that kind of smells like vanilla. That smells pretty good. Look at that. A nice, light, sheer lip gloss. That is really, really nice. So, I'm really impressed with this, y'all. Lip gloss smells straight up like vanilla. And this is the Ofra. Um, I think this is the... Ofra Cosmetics Truffle Lip Gloss. Um... I hate to take this one off. But that dose of colors one really 
blew my mind away. Because, like I, I said in the previous video, that um, I had had three of the Ofra Cosmetics um, matte um, liquid lipsticks, and I was not satisfied with those. So, um, I'm really satisfied with this. So, That is more of a sheer gloss as well. Um, very nice. That has almost like a sweet fall note. I don't know if you, not cinnamon, but it reminds me of fall. So, very satisfied with these. Um, let's do our setting spray. This is just the Tarte uh, the Tarte stay spray that I love so yeah uh thank you guys so very much for watching this 10 hour video <laughs> um if you like this video please subscribe to this channel and turn on those hit your bell icon turn on those notifications so that you get notified next time I upload I've noticed in my video analytics over half of my viewers aren't even subscribed to my channel so it would be a great honor if you would hit that subscribe button uh, please comment down below if you have any questions, video suggestions, ideas, anything. Um, at a later date, I'm thinking about um, a what's in my makeup bag, um, a everyday makeup video. Um, I'm thinking of a skincare. Uh, what's in my skincare bag video uh, um, I thought about doing a what I got for Christmas video so if you guys would like to see any of those please comment down below I can do a video of I have a makeup organizer where I keep extra makeup stuff I don't have in my everyday makeup bag if you would like to see a I guess you could say a tour of that or something just Please comment any video ideas. Um, thank you guys so very much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Love y'all. God bless. See you in the next one. Um, happy New Year. I hope and pray 2021 is a better year for everyone in our country and the world. Thank you. Late Merry Christmas. Y'all have a great day. Love y'all. God bless. Bye.